Hello everybody, I am here today in the Magic Kingdom here in Walt Disney World and the reason we're here today is because we are going to be talking all about the fact that Disney just announced the official end date of the 50th celebration here in Walt Disney World. The Walt Disney World 50th most magical celebration on earth is going to be ending on March 31st of 2023 which is just a little under six months away. So what we decided to do was come here today to get a little bit of the footage of the decorations and talk about what's going to change, what's going to be phased out what may remain even after the 50th celebration is over and basically just what to expect once this time we've been celebrating comes to an end. If you guys enjoy the content on the channel and you've seen some of our other Disney park stuff, Disney resort stuff, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, make sure that you share the channel, help us grow, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And so in talking about the 50th celebration today, I'm sure there's lots of little things that we're gonna lose, like the signs and banners and different offerings on the menus, merchandise, and things like that. But what we're here to talk about in the video today is really those main things that we're gonna see, like the castle changing, losing the 50th statues, maybe, maybe not. The change in some of the Disney attractions that we're gonna actually see phasing out and permanently closing during the 50th, as well as the nighttime spectacular change that everybody wants to talk about, which Happily Ever After is returning, Disney just announced at the D23 Expo. So obviously one of the big things that we've noticed with the 50th is the change in the Cinderella Castle. It has become iridescent ear, spelled E-A-R, of course, a reference to our friend Mickey Mouse. But basically the castle is covered in lots of blue and gold and almost rose gold decorations and paint. And this spreads all the way throughout um, the Disney parks. Now they've actually repainted a lot of the signs and stuff to kind of represent this blue, silver, and gold pattern across property, the entry arches, as well as the TTC, the Transportation and Ticket Center. And and while I don't expect us to see the castle doing a total makeover once again, I think they'll probably keep the colors. We may see some of those decorations and stuff on the spires coming down, as well as some of the banners over here on the other spires in the castle courtyard. One of the things that I'm desperately, desperately hoping we don't lose after the 50th celebration are the Fab 50 Golden Disney character statues that have been now added to all four parks. There's 35 statues in total that showcase 50 characters, just like this Dumbo statue here that shows Dumbo and Timothy Mouse. A lot of them do have two characters like Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. So there are 35 statues, a total of 50 characters, and they all have this little 50 icon on them at the bottom here. I'm hoping that on some of them, or most of them, the 50th icon can just be removed and they can maintain them as a permanent fixture of the parks because they do add a lot of character, no pun intended, to the surrounding areas. I think if any of the statues remain a permanent fixture, it's probably going to be the Mickey and Minnie because of the fact that they were dedicated to all cast members, past, present, and future. So I feel like that's a special thing they might not want to remove. So in speaking to what I said before about new attractions coming to the Magic Kingdom after the 50th, we have Tron Light Cycle Run coming sometime next year, we can assume. The Walt Disney World train, the track is now reconnected. A little update from a video we did a few weeks ago, about two months ago actually. The track is connected and we are expecting an opening for the railroad sometime this in the next six months, I would assume, because they are retraining cast members. So nothing official yet from the company, but the fact that they are retraining that railroad cast means that we can probably expect it shortly. So staying on the same topic, as we mentioned before, of parks, additions, and new attractions and stuff, we are over here on the other side of the park from Tron, and now we're here to talk about an addition that's coming to the Haunted Mansion. Also at the D23 Expo, Disney announced that the Haunted Mansion is going to be seeing an update, and that is in the Hatbox Ghost they will be adding to the ride. Everybody's very excited about this. If you didn't already know, the Hatbox Ghost is at Disneyland, but I don't believe it's ever been in Walt Disney World. If it was, it was a long time ago. But they are going to be adding it over here to the attraction shortly after the 50th celebration ends. And so when we're talking about big changes coming to the Magic Kingdom, of course, we have to talk about the biggest one of all we can expect after the 50th celebration, and that is Splash Mountain. If you didn't already know, Splash Mountain will be going away for good in Disneyland and Walt Disney World. It's going to be replaced with a new attraction called Tiana's Bayou Adventure, themed on the characters from Princess and the Frog and New Orleans. If you look around the area, you can already see some evidence that Splash Mountain is starting to be phased out. We're gonna head on here in the gift shop in a second. We heard a rumor that part of it had been closed for good. 
So as you can see, they've already closed off a good portion of the gift shop here at the Splashdown Photos gift area. So we noticed that the press penny machine with the Splash Fountain pennies is still here. So we're gonna try to get all eight of them before they quite literally go out of time. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about today in what's changing after the 50th anniversary here at Magic Kingdom is of course the fireworks spectacular. The current fireworks show Enchantment has been showing in the parks since October 1st, 2021, but it is soon going to be replaced by Happily Ever After the show that started in 2017 and ran up until the beginning of the 50th anniversary. A lot of fans are excited about this Enchantment was changed about halfway through its run to include some more historical footage of Walt and Roy Disney, which did please a lot of people but they are going to be changing it back to the beloved happily ever after. So everybody, we are heading out and wrapping up for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this update on what to expect at the end of the 50th celebration here at Magic Kingdom. Even though the 50th is over, we've got a lot of cool and exciting things to look forward to as we mentioned in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found it very informative and I hope you guys check out some of the other content on the channel. Once again, as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, put on the notifications, leave a comment if you'd like and let us know what you'd like to see in these videos. Also, don't be afraid to help us share the channel if you'd like to help us grow a little bit. Thank you. Thank you.